I hope you had a great holiday season. We are kicking off 2024 with chicken or turkey pot pie. This recipe was birthed from last week. We had a whole bunch of leftovers from Christmas and I'm like, oh, I really want to make a pot pie. And I've done it before, was like, it was just okay. This is not just okay, this is awesome. I think you guys are gonna really love this. So um, I did go ahead, I'm, I, I had to stage this one because there's a lot of steps, but it doesn't mean it's hard, okay? So I wanna give you all my tips, but I also didn't wanna be live for 45 minutes so you guys could wait on a pie to cook, right? So um, I have this all uh, set up for you guys, so thank you for your patience this morning. I know I'm a little bit late, and I also, I'm cooking from a seated position, and let me tell you why. A few of you gave me some feedback that you couldn't hear me on my lives, and so I brought the microphone closer to me. I'm gonna order a mic so I can be in the normal standing position for next time, because um, I love you guys, and I want you to be able to hear what I have to say. So I, I brought you a little bit closer. This might be super awkward to cook from this position, especially we have to roll some dough, but we're gonna have fun anyways. So, okay, I, I what was I gonna say? I don't know, I, we just made some veggies, so let me start there. We are going to be doing the sauce for this. Aurea is going to be my assistant today. Thank you, Aurea. And she's going to be putting everything into the saucepan that is going to be the pie filling. The recipe is in the description. I'm going to be adding it to my website soon so you can get the full recipe. Um, but you have all the ingredients listed there. And then for the pie crust, we're going to be we're going to do it right here. All right. So first off, you can have this as an S or as an S helper, depending on your portion size. If you have an even bigger portion, then it's definitely going to be a crossover. So um, it depends on what veggies you get. The first thing you're gonna start with in your saucepan is going to be your veggies. So I have this organic veggie blend, which to me feels like the classic pot pie. So if you're looking for the classic pot pie, you can do this. Now, so that you're not getting a bajillion hunks of corn in your pot pie, you are going to want to add in some green beans. You can always pick a different veggie blend mix. If you pick one that doesn't have corn and just a little bit of carrots, then it's completely an S, okay? If you could always just do like green beans and then you could dice up a few carrots and do that, you guys can play around with it. The sky's the limit. So you can make this your own if you wanna have S, S helper. Um, this is just what I had on hand. So I was kind of brainstorming and, I'm, and my family really loved it. So I wanted to share it with you guys. So I just throw in a bunch of these and then that helps dilute, uh-oh, there we go. That helps dilute this mix a little bit. So let me show you what I did now. Um, when I made it last week, I just threw the frozen veggies like right in the pan. Just throw like a tablespoon of butter in there, which is what I'm going to have Araya go ahead and do right now. And then we're going to throw the veggies on top of that and then just put it on like medium heat. And I, but if you want it to be even faster, then use your Epicure steamer, which I bet most of you guys have. If you do not have one of these, you need one of these. And just DM steamer and I'll get you the link for it if you want it. Um, this is my silicone steamer. It cooks everything. So I'm, I just preheated these veggies for five minutes just so we could cook the sauce faster. So it just depends on your time frame. Otherwise, you can throw frozen veggies right in your saucepan and then cover it with a lid. Yes. Oh, she needs to turn it on. I can do it. Maybe. There we go. That one's the one that likes to give me a hard time. Okay, so, oh, can you see it's nice and steamy? So here we have it. You can see, let me mix this really quick. Oh, can you see? So this is got a lot of green beans added to it. Now, my kids, we won't name names, don't necessarily like onions. So if you like onions, you can always dice up an onion to go into it as well. But my kids don't mind onion flavor, so we're going to use onion powder instead. So I'm gonna go ahead and can you measure out we're gonna measure out four cups of this and anything extra that you have, um, you can always just save it for another meal. You can add butter to it. You could just add some salt and nutritional yeast and have it as a fuel pool, whatever you wanna do. Okay, so we are gonna come back to um, that in just a second. So for the crust, I melted 10 tablespoons of butter and then I'm actually going to add in two, uh, Wow, that is a lot. Yep, that's right. Okay, 
Man, my computer doesn't like me today. Okay, we are going to add in two cups of baking blend, which, this is so weird to cook from down here, you guys. How are you guys today? I want to hear your New Year's intentions. What are your New Year's? And I don't like New Year's resolutions. If you don't know me, I do not like New Year's resolutions because most people quit by Quitter's Day, which is, did you know that's a real day? It's a real day. Look it up. Quitter's Day. It's a real day. And most people quit by the second Friday of January, which happens to be January 12th, which happens to be the day that I'm kickstarting my personal development class, which if you are interested in personal development, growing, growing your health, growing you as a person, then I want to invite you to come to my mastermind. And if you want the information on it, it's in the description and you can check that out. I would love to see you there because of course I'm starting something on Quitter's Day because I don't quit. I'm not a quitter and neither are you guys because I know you follow me. So you are not quitters at all. You guys are perseverers. That's what we do. We persevere when it's hard. We keep going when it's hard. And we just keep growing and learning. So if you're ready to challenge yourself in 2024 and grow more, ooh, write that down. That was good. Then I want to invite you to my mastermind starting on the 12th. You get a ton of things with it. It is awesome. It's awesome. You should come. I can't wait to see you there. All right, you guys. So I got to get the rest. I had to open a new bag. I was like running. I need to already place an order. I went through my baking stuff. My THM baking stuff, like crazy baking stuff for you guys. I really love you guys, by the way. Do you know how much I love you? I did protein and prayer with some of my coaching friends yesterday. We're praying over our businesses, praying over you guys, praying over how we can support you and love on you. And um, I stayed up and made some pies so I could show them to you guys. <laughs> and it was so hard not to want to nibble on my pie. I was like, Oh, I love you guys. I had to remind myself how much I love you guys because I do. So thank you for being here. It means a lot to me. Okay, so I did two cups of baking blend. We have the softened butter. I'm going to do two tablespoons of gentle sweet. Is my tablespoon measure over there? It is really hard to see things. Oh, there it is. Right down here. Okay, so two tablespoons of gentle sweet. Ooh, that was loud. And good morning. Let's see if I can even. The disorganized planner. I don't know who you are, but you sound like me. I think we could be sisters. We're probably sisters. That's me. I love it. Stay on plan. Yes, I love it. Yes, good. Good morning, Sherry. I might need you today, Sherry, so don't go anywhere. We might have to do math. I'm not really sure. She's my go-to math gal. She's an amazing generation mover. I love her. Okay, um, let's see. We need one quarter plus two tablespoons of egg whites. So these are the egg whites I'm using from Costco. I love these because there is no junk and no fillers in them. Okay, so once I get this together, we are going to do the sauce while I roll this out so we can get it going. I'm trying to do all the things. I'm trying to do all the things, you guys. Okay. What else do we need to add to this? Is this it? Oh, you know what? We need two eggs. I don't think I grabbed those. You want to go grab those from the fridge? Okay. She's going to grab two eggs. So while she's doing that, I'm going to go ahead and just start working on the sauce so we can get it going. So once you add in your butter and we put in four cups of veggie blend your choice, that's how you decide if it's S, S helper, crossover, you get to choose. And then we are going to add in one and a half cups of almond milk and one and a half cups of broth. Oh, you're back. You want to add those? One and a half cups of almond milk, one and a half cups of chicken stock. And I'm you, okay, you guys are going to think I'm crazy, but I, exper I experimented with this last week and I liked it. This is the vanilla unsweetened almond milk from Trader Joe's. You can totally use the plain. I totally feel you if you want to do that. But I liked it. It kind of gave it a little hint of sweet, and the crust does too, and it, I just like it. I think it's good. So, But you don't have to try it that way. You can use whatever almond milk you want as long as it's unsweetened. Make sure you guys are reading your labels. <gasps> Almost forgot while I'm cracking eggs here. Um, when you're picking your veggies, you can also use canned veggies. So if you're like, man, I don't know what to do, I always have canned veggies in my pantry at all times so that I do not go, where's my veggie? 
I, if I need an emergency veggie, it's canned green beans. Like right here. You you could throw this in your purse. They used to have the pop top. You literally could bring canned green beans with you. Now you'd have to bring a can opener. Who has a can opener in, in their purse? If you do, you win a you get a trophy. You are a trim healthy mom of the year. Seriously. I'm already crowning you because that's amazing. Um, so always have your veggies somewhere. Always know how you can bulk up your veggies, but you can use canned. Secret though, you the secret, you guys is to um, make sure you read your labels. You gotta read your labels because these have green beans, water, sea salt. I love when I see that because sometimes it says salt and salt can, is inflammatory if it's just table salt. So just something to note. Green beans, water, sea salt. This, this can of green beans is a little can of health right here. Okay, so can I use this fork? Sure, I'm gonna use this. Did I put everything in? I think I did. I'm checking. Yes. Okay, cool. So once you mix this all together, we are going to roll it out. Roll out. Roll out. Do you guys know that song? I'm dating myself. I don't even know who that was. It was probably ludicrous. You know, I used to listen to rap music. I actually still don't mind it. There's some actually really good Christian rap music. I'm just saying. I will listen to anything. We tried to go see my brother-in-law for... um. You guys, I think I told you guys last week. We're going to go see my brother-in-law. He plays in a band called Lakefront. And we went down there on New Year's. And I was, like, excited because me and my husband, we kind of tend to be homebodies. And we're like, we will just stay in. And if we even stay up till midnight, like, that's a miracle. And um, so we decided we're going to do something fun this year. So we went and saw, go to see my brother-in-law. We get downtown. It's downtown Minneapolis. We did not think this through. This is just how much of a homebodies we are. We get down there, the line is three blocks long. So my dad, and my dad's with me too, so my dad and my mom, and uh, we get down there, and three blocks long, we get in this line, oh, by the way, it's freezing. And there's people in like tiny dresses, and it's like, I don't know what it was, 18 degrees? It was cold, I don't know, and I thought, <gasps> come to find out, my dad goes, asks the bouncer, like how, we didn't get any like special passes because, you know, we're family. I wish though, they should do that. So anyways, they said the chances of you getting in tonight are like almost zero. So we were like, oh, so we came home and actually we did stay up because we had coffee before we left so that we could stay up. So we stayed up till midnight, but just watched the ball drop from home. What did you guys do? Did you guys do anything fun? So that was that. Oh, and remind me when I get to chicken, remind me, I've got to tell them a story. Because, gosh, you guys, life is full of stories. I hope you're taking notes every single day of the lessons you learn. I learn a lesson every single day. <sighs> like yesterday when we did protein and prayer. It was just so good for me. It was so good for me. Sorry, this is actually quite therapeutic. I'm just, like, enjoying this. Man, my computer's making me annoyed right now. Okay. You're ready? Oh, okay. So she's going to go ahead and keep adding. We need a teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of pepper, and two teaspoons of thyme. She's going to add that back there. Okay, so now that we have this, we are going to split this into two. And, oh, okay, I've got, I'm actually hot. I've got this big old sweater. I've been so cold because when you have a bunch of fuel pulls, your body has no fuel to burn. There's no carbs. There's no fats. So you get cold. So yesterday I was just freezing. Just freezing. Okay. You know what? I got to do this. Though. Here we go. Parchment paper. This is your BFF. Okay. Then you're just going to take and make this into like two little equal balls. So do that first and then you'll have, you can eyeball it. It's like a softball. What was it? Um, I don't know. Can you move that and look? I'm sorry, honey. It's like one teaspoon salt, one teaspoon pepper, two teaspoons thyme, I think. Is that what I said? Sherry! Where's Sherry? We need Sherry. What did I just say? Okay. All right, got it. Sherry's my virtual assistant. She didn't even know. <laughs> oh, thank you. What's your name, the disorganized planner? Maybe you said it already. It's scrolling by really fast. I think I finally figured out how to see some of your comments at least. Progress, you guys. Progress over perfection, right? I'm making progress. 
And I'm going to get a mic so I don't have to keep doing this. But hopefully you guys can hear me. Can you hear me okay? Trying to talk extra loud. But if you guys do have to turn the volume up on YouTube and it's like half volume and you, I talk like this, that's not fun. I totally get it. So that's always like my heart. I, I hear you. I'm listening. I'm listening. Okay, we got two balls. Two dough balls. So just take one of them. And I'm going to put it on a piece of parchment paper over here and set it aside. Her name is Shelly. Shelly, thank you. Hi, Shelly. Okay, so um, now, Araya, you can add in two tablespoons of the Trim Healthy Mama Bouillon Mix. You guys, to save you time, because you're going to go, Sarah, this recipe takes forever. No, it doesn't. you got to do this up front. Plus, you're going to use this all the time. So this is my Trim Healthy Mama Bouillon Mix. Make it up in advance. I put the recipe link in the description. There's a little handout, go make that first. Step one, make this so you don't have to deal with this later. You're gonna use this, you can use this on your veggies, you can use this anytime you want in, you can make like homemade ramen, all kinds of stuff, okay? So go make this first, then she's gonna add two tablespoons of that. Okay, and then when you're done with that, you can add one to two tablespoons of minced onion, which, is it over there? Okay, we're borrowing my sisters because I ran out. Oh my goodness, you guys, this week. I was not, I did not have my life together. So we're gonna use one tablespoon of this minced onion. Can I show it to them? Why are you looking at me with the side eye? You're borrowing your sisters? Yeah, this is my sisters. I don't even know where she got it. Is this from Aldi? It is! Well, I'm using something from Aldi, you guys. Are you proud, Aldi fans? You guys know I'm a Trader Joe's girl. Okay, so one tablespoon of that. And then and if you like onion, then add more, add more. Uh, if you don't like onion, just don't put it in, period. That's simple. All right, then um, did you do two teaspoons of thyme? Yeah, okay. So we get the thyme, well, we have, we have like a lifetime supply of thyme. That, that's, that's not even a joke, but yet a joke. I literally have a bag of thyme like this big from my friend, Coach Sia and Coach Micah. It's so funny. They gave me that. I said, for one year for Christmas, I said, I would love the gift of time. Like T-I-M-E. They sent me a bag of T-H-Y-M-E. It was really funny, I have to admit. <laughs> they get my sense of humor. Um, okay, so then you have all those in? Okay, perfect. So let me look at it. Oh, okay. Can I pick you guys up? I'm going to pick you up. We're going we're gonna to live in on the edge today. Living on the edge. Can you guys see in there? Okay, so that, it should look runny like this. Now she's going to whisk in, starting with one teaspoon. Here she is. Look how adorable she is. Hello. <laughs> she's going to whisk in one teaspoon of, you can use xanthum or gluki. Are you going to use xanthum? She's got xanthum. Uh, either one works. Either one works. So she's going to do that. Now, make sure you tap it in, okay? You don't want it to get clumpy. So, t -t 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 -t, like, tap it in. It'll be, make, keep it smooth. Man, I am a mess over here. All right, I'm trying to fix this again. Okay, now we're gonna roll this out. So you're gonna tap that in. If it doesn't thicken up in like just less than five minutes, then add, a, add more, add more. But you really won't need more than two teaspoons, so don't go crazy. And then um, once that is thickened, oh, excuse me, that would be, that would be, oh, we forgot the meat. We forgot the meat, you guys. Okay. Um, this, this is my story about meat, and I have a story about meat. Of course I do. So this is just chicken. Um, we had turkey la last week, obviously, from Christmas. So this is four cups of chicken. <clears throat> She's going to put all four cups of this. You could do turkey. You could do chicken. So I ran to Costco because I wanted you guys to know you can just – you're crazy busy. You're in a hurry. You can, like – still make this and it doesn't really take that long and you can just go grab a rotisserie chicken and pull the meat off of it and put it in it's really simple so i ran i realized a long story but if you guys have been following me for a long time you know my son's car got hit about when was it right before thanksgiving my son's car got hit in a hit and run while we were sleeping it's crazy and that we finally got his car in like three weeks ago the guy who was fixing his car ended up in the hospital like I can't make this crazy stuff up so we've been out without my son's car so we're juggling cars and my husband travels a lot for work so anyways needless to say it's like I needed to help my son get to places blah 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 
And so I realized that I had no time to go grab these rotisserie chickens. And so I went on Tuesday night. Yeah. Tuesday night. And um, I get there and it's like 7.30. Well, guess what? I learned a lesson. They like stop making rotisserie chickens around like six when the meat department closes. So whatever's out, once it's sold out, it's done. You don't get, you're not getting a rotisserie chicken. So I get there, there's no rotisserie chickens. And I'm like, ah, oh, shoot, what am I gonna do? So I'm just telling you, you can buy a rotisserie chicken from Costco, they're five bucks, so it's really easy. It's already done protein for you. Um, or, I mean, I came, I was like, I'm a problem solver. So I came home and I just made chicken in my Instant Pot, which is also quick. From Frozen, I made this in an hour in my Instant Pot and it shreds, like psh, completely shreds. So she's gonna put that in. So there's options, but I was thinking like, you're out, you're busy. Oh, I got a hankering for the pot pie. Then you can still do this. You can still grab a chicken. You don't have to go through and wait for your Instant Pot to cook the chicken and um, you can still get it done. So don't you love options? We got options. So we're gonna go ahead and roll this guy out. So here we go. I'm gonna squish this down. Yes. Oh yes, now it, she's got that mixed in. Let's see how this is looking. Oh, I'm gonna show you guys. I'm gonna show you guys. Come on over. Come on over, friends. Welcome. Welcome to my house. Welcome to my house. Isn't that song? Okay, so th that looks great. She's gonna add a quarter cup of cream and then this is gonna be good. Now, dairy-free friends, dairy-free friends. You could just skip the cream. You could change the butter out for coconut oil. You could add in Kite Hill cream cheese instead of cream. You have options. You can absolutely make this dairy-free. So if you were like, I'm dairy-free, I got you. You could still do this. I've made a lot of recipes like this and just leave the cream out. Just don't add the cream, it's fine. But my family really likes it with the cream, so I'm adding the cream. So here we go. We're gonna roll this out. All right, let's see. Love the THM bouillon. Use, I use it on my eggs and stir fry and soup. Ooh, I love it. You shop at Aldi and TJ's. Ooh, you know what? I think I have to give Aldi another chance. Every time I've gone, okay, so I am, I love Trader Joe's because it's like a mom and pop feel to me and the store is so tiny. And it's so funny because I also like Costco. That makes no sense, right guys? That makes no sense because Costco is so big, but I do, oh my gosh. We forgot something the other day. What was it? I don't even remember what it was. And I told Aria, I said, we're not going back for it. It's oh, in the, it was in the back. Bags. What was it? Trash bags. Oh, we forgot trash bags. So I was like, I will get those next time. I'm, I'm pretty sure we weren't totally out. So I'm like, oh, cause don't you hate that when you're in a huge store like that and you're like, oh geez, it's on the other side of the store. That is like not fun. So, um, Trader Joe's though, you forget something, no problem. You just swing back over there and grab it. But we just got an Aldi up closer to my house and I think I need to give it another chance. I'm all about second chances, third chances, fourth, apparently 500 chances. That's what the Bible says, right? Seven times seven, that's forgiveness though. It's like chances though, it's chances, it's chances. So I will give Aldi, I will give Aldi another chance. I will, for you guys, later though, when I think of it. Uh, okay, so, you see in my thing? This is not perfectly round. It actually came out heart-shaped, that's hilarious. That's okay, I'm not going for perfection today. We're not going for perfection. We're going for heart. So, now I need something to put this in. Where's my pan? Oh, okay, I gotta get this. All right, can you read some of their comments to me? That would be great. Then I can keep working. It will turn it on and start talking. But you can read some right there, too. I think you can just do this. Oh, nope, you can't. Okay, just kidding. All right. Yes, yes, you can. I know, that's... Every time we go to turn it on, then it's like talking to us. And we tried to turn the volume down, but it's like, you know how there's two separate volumes on your phone? Do you know what I'm talking about? So you're like, I've got it completely muted. And it turns on, it's like, Bleh! and you're like, no, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. <laughs> okay, so I'm keeping it in the parchment paper because 
This dough likes to stick to the pan, so to prevent that, just keep it in the parchment paper. You are gonna do yourself a huge favor. Then just push it in. Now, I just take a pair of scissors, and you can cut the, the edge off of it. Um, and ask, how do I cook the chicken in the instant pot? Put your chicken in your instant pot. Who is it? So I can say hello. Oh, Shelly. Yeah, Shelly. It's Shelly. Shelly, Shelly um, throw it in your Instant Pot with a cup of water, cup and a half of water. Um, throw in your frozen chicken. Set it. Okay, I'm weird. I'm weird. Set it for like, I feel it in my gut. And I go, is it a 60 minute, which is one hour, or 65 minute day? I don't know why. It probably doesn't even make a difference. But I just set it for 60 or 65 minutes, sometimes 62 because I'm feeling rebellious that day. And then I just cook it in there, in the broth. And then when it comes out, like let it natural pressure release because the longer it sits in there, it breaks the fibers down. And I'm telling you, it shreds like butter, butter. So that's why it's not really an hour though, because you know it takes time to build the pressure. So I think of these things in the morning. Like it's better if you, if you think of it at night and it's seven o'clock at night, it's not a good time to make it. It's not because it's still gonna take an hour and a half to cook frozen chicken. Well, at least if you're cooking for nine people, cause that's the other thing. I put a ton of chicken in there. If you have less chicken, you can do less time. So hope that helps. All right, so once you get this in here, I need a fork. Where did my fork go? I need a fork. Okay, we'll just reach around here. I got this. I'm gonna put, oh, you know what you gotta do? So some of this, dough is extra like popping off because remember I just made a weird shape so just grab it and squish it into the parts that if you make a weird shape you can just fix it it's easy because I don't want this um, like that okay let's see I'm gonna put this over here so you can just play around with it and reshape it it's very pliable here so once you do that, let's see, do I want to take off this edge? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Okay, I feel pretty good about that. Feeling good about that. Okay, so take a fork, just poke a bunch of holes, and then throw this into the oven for 10 minutes, okay? Then you're going to let it cool off for about 5-10 minutes, then you can put your filling into it so it looks like this okay so into the oven have your assistant have your assistant help you you guys need an assistant grab your kids have them help you okay now we have our other pie crust so here's what we're gonna do cuz I'm ready we don't have to wait 10 minutes for that cuz I told you I prepped I prepped for you guys and I got more tips for you of course I do why is this square because I realized last night, how am I gonna show you guys this? I wanted to show you one in progress as we prep one and the finished completed product. And I knew that I couldn't make that all happen in a short life. So I do make dreams come true. I just, I realized, you know what? You don't have to have the perfect shape. You can pick whatever you want. If you wanna use a rectangular pan, this is just an eight by eight square pan. So if you don't even have a pie plate. Now, I learned a couple things. My pie plate that I love the most, that one that we just used, was that the, that was the gingerbread one? Was it the gingerbread one? Yeah, okay. I love that one, but it's really deep. It's really deep. So with that, um, it holds more filling. So I'm gonna give you guys a couple ideas because this recipe makes a lot of filling and if you're like, whoa, what do I do? You can either always make more dough. Um, you can eat the filling by itself. You could put the filling on the top after it comes out, which is also delicious. You can make little romkin versions. Did you guys get the little romkins that I have been showing you to make all the little baby pies? You can use those and add your um, pie filling and then just put some crust on top. Just some, just some creative options for you. Will you get out those romkins so I can show them? So this is done. This is ready. We're going to actually just put our filling in. And I think the other one's actually done, but... And you guys can see, look at that. But I already made one last night because I wasn't sure if this would be done if I would talk long enough. Apparently I talk too much. I'm sorry, I love you guys. <laughs> oh, okay, here, do you want to show them? There's one of the romkins. So you could put some filling in there and you could have little like single serve, adorable ones or for those who might be dairy free, 
You can pull out your portion first and put yours in a little romkin and then put the cream in everybody else's. You can do it. Okay, so we are just gonna take the filling from this. Now you guys can see how thick this is. This is the one I made yesterday. It thickens up. Oh, it really thickens up. So see how thick this is? Man, I hope I don't spill it all over the place. Oh, geez. I'm only spilling it partly all over the place. I think that's enough. Okay. Let's see if that's good. Oh, oh, tap that, please, before it shuts off. Sorry, we're trying. My my computer, I'm, I'm on an Apple, and I still, I've been using it for a while. Okay, so see, look, I have this much extra. This would be like two little romkins. So... I'm not rewriting the recipe. I love you guys, but uh, th this turned out perfect, so I don't want to rewrite nothing. Um, now, we're going to put our top on. So same process. i got to move this out of the way. I'm discombobulated. Is that a song? No, that's not a song. I just wrote it. You're welcome. Rewriting history here. Okay, this I got stuff on it. Here, I'll give you that. So I'm going to take this guy... And we're going to, do you like this look? It's the headless Coach Sarah. Who was the headless guy? Who's the headless guy? Ryder, Ryder. Do you know the poem? Who's that headless guy? Headless guy. I don't know. Somebody tell me because now it's going to bug me all day. The headless guy. You know, he's like from famous Anna Green Gables. She talked about him. Wow, I'm getting off on a weird tangent. Somebody save the day. Just tell me the name. Who is it? I don't know. Okay. All right, so I'm going to roll this out. Now, because this is a square one, I, I watch it be, this one's going to be perfectly round. That would, that would happen. Actually, it's looking, I think it's looking a little bit squarish. I'm going to keep it going. So, let's see. Can I not see here? This is so weird. Oh, this is part of the problem. Oh, that is so much better. That is so much better. Okay. Um, the comments? Oh, they aren't. Are we live still? Yeah, we're live. Okay. I don't know if we're having technical difficulties or what. Can you guys hear us okay? All these organic meats and chicken are excellent. Thank you for the tip, Shelly. I appreciate that. It's uh, looking pretty round. Eh, it's okay. It's going to be perfect. She's judging my skills here. So, peel this off. See, this is why we do it in parchment paper. Easy peasy. Here you go. He said it's Horseman. <laughs> horseman. His name is Horseman? No, I think he is the Horseman. Hor the Horseman. The Horseman. I think he is like half horse. Yeah. The hor no, no, that. No, I don't I, think so. I don't think that's, that's Okay, so once you do this, then you can just take this and you can just flip it on top. Okay. Then, oh, and this is what you do. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, that said headless horseman. The headless horseman. There, I was like, I feel like there's more to it. Headless. In Sleepy Hollow. Sleepy, Sleepy yeah. Hollow. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Shelly. It's like, I need all the help I can get today. Okay, Shelly so. Sherry. Sherry, of course, Sherry to the rescue. Thank you, Sherry. Shelly. All right. Okay, I'm going to pull off this extra. So this is what you can do. Just pull off the extra, and now this goes on your little single pies, okay? Or you can roll it out if you want dessert. You guys remember the classic, you make the pie dough crust, and then you put the butter on it, then you put the sweetener, and then you put the cinnamon. Roll this out. I haven't even tried it, so please try it. I'm sure it will work. I'm, like, confident, okay? I'm seriously that confident. Roll it out. You probably don't have to cook it that long. Will you throw that away? Um, roll it out. Put on some butter. Put on some gentle sweet. Add some cinnamon, just like shake it on, probably a couple of tablespoons. And then some cinnamon, roll it up, cut it. What are those, like those little pinwheel things? Oh, you, got, you got dessert to go with this. That sounds so good. Okay, so just take your extra and then you can put that on your romkin, which I can show you guys how to do one of those. It's so easy. And then um, take this. Now, if you want to, you know, like classic, you could like put the fork. However, and this is very touchy. So I just recommend like kind of like squishing it on the edges with your fingers just to give it a little shape. 
that's what I did just because it's so soft anytime you work with baking blend it's it's just you look how it's very crumbly so you have to be really careful so if you start putting your fork in it and trying to make a cute design it might fall apart so this is definitely probably not the cutest um, edge but if you come up with a better way for it you you let me know there's probably some sort of secret to not get it to move all right I feel pretty good about that so you guys see now we are going to um, take a knife and we can turn this off too I don't want to keep cooking that so let's see I have do we not have a really cookie use a mm, wow what are my knife options here well this is a weird one okay this is what I'm using I have use a sharper knife hopefully this one is I don't know we're gonna find out here together I know this is like one of those um, serrated it's almost like a steak knife but so I'm just cutting a design in it but the sharper the knife you use then you won't have issues with it pulling so yeah, oh, yes. it that's it I'm just doing this little thing okay you like it you hey guys cute okay now this goes into the oven start with 10 minutes and then babysit it it will take possibly up to 15 mine took exactly 14 when I did it so make sure you cook the bottom crust for 10, let it cool, put your pie filling in, then you can top it with your crust, put it in for about 14 minutes, it's done. Then if then I would let it sit for a few minutes because otherwise it's gonna be like scalding hot, burn your mouth, and it'll be more runny. If you let it sit, then it firms up. So it really doesn't take that long. As long as you have your chicken ready and your bouillon ready, it just comes together really, really quick, okay? I mean, seriously, we've been live here for like 30 minutes. And you could do this in 30 minutes, but I'm teaching. I'm teaching you. So it takes a little bit longer to show you guys things. Okay, so this one's going to go in the oven. And now. Terry said it was something plain. This is the done one. Isn't that pretty? So here's the other thing. When you have one that's completely done, um, it will... It will lift out and you can put it on whatever fancy plate you want if you let it cool if you let it cool you have to let it cool otherwise it'll fall apart okay so this one I just reheated a little bit and you can reheat it in the microwave you can reheat it in the oven for a little bit just cover it with some tin foil if you do like want to make it for you could triple this recipe and make a whole bunch of pies and then have people over and it's already ready just reheat it heat it up in the microwave you know whatever no one's gonna know they're gonna love it Okay, so let me cut off a piece so you guys can see it. Let me get a knife. And a spatula. Mom, that's gonna be what is it? Oh, our pie's gonna be done? Okay, cool. So our other one's done. this going because we got to stick this other guy in so you guys can see this one's done but now he needs to cool off for a few minutes so he's gonna go back here and cool off then I can put this other who's coming over for pot pie tonight or guess what we're having for dinner pot pie <laughs> you guys didn't know that did you <sighs> um, if you want to come over come on over I have a lot I have three pot pies literally I do have to feed nine people though um, so you could see, see how crumbly this is, so crumbly, so crumbly, but it's good. Like it, it's good. That's what you want. Like flaky, right? A flaky pie. Okay. Let's see if I can get this. Now. Oh man, I'm making it really crumbly. It's always the first one's the hardest, right, you guys? The first one, it's always the hardest to get out. It's the crumbly. Look at that though. Oh. Is it lunchtime? Almost lunchtime. What do you guys think? Was that easy? I hope that was really easy. I hope you make this. I really do. That was easy. So give it a try. You can see in there. It's delicious. 
is tasty. You're going to love it. Your family's going to love it. They're going to thank you for making it. All right, guys. Uh, do you have any questions? Anything before I run? I hope that this was super helpful. And I hope to see you on January 12th in my mastermind. If you guys are thinking about what you want to do for your health this year and how you can grow as a person, then I want to see you in my growth mastermind. I hope to see you there. All right, guys. It was Ichabod Crane. I don't even know what that means. I feel like I have a lot of questions. I don't know why that's being weird. Do you see that? Yeah, like it's not showing Yeah, like it's not there. showing everybody. Hey, Jennifer. Hey, Marge. Good morning. Hey, Tracy. Thanks for joining in. I'm just, I don't know why it's being kind of finicky telling me. I thought I figured it out. Maybe I didn't figure it out. Technology be the best of me sometimes. I don't know. So, <laughs> are the instructions going to be written? Yes, ma'am. Just not yet. I'll, I'm going to get it on my website, and um, then it will be all written out for you guys. But for now, you have the ingredients, and you have a tutorial. So, at least you know how to do it, and uh, all the instructions will be coming soon. Okay? All right, you guys. Well, I will see you again next week. Thank you, Aurea, for your help. You're awesome. What can they do if they're watching from YouTube? Like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any new videos. And don't forget to put hashtag pot pie if you're watching the replay so that we know that you saw this. And if you guys have any other questions, you can put them in the comments, and I'll be sure to come back and check them. All right, I hope you guys have an amazing day, and we will see you guys next week. Bye, guys.